here we're going to create a shared project which we can use in multiple projects in the future so first we'll just create a standard Arduino project give it a name and put it in a folder now the advantage of your shared code is you'll be able to use it in any other solution in the future as well as potentially even depending on the code within Windows applications it depends exactly what you're aiming to do so here we'll just put our normal folder in so nothing out of the ordinary so far your standard sketch has been created so now we're going to need to add a new shared project to our solution so if we just go add and then new project and search for shared or Arduino and you'll see the list you can see I've recently used it so it's on the left as well now give this a name obviously better than just shared code project um, more suitable for the actual aim of the project and as you can see this is at the same level as our Arduino project was it's not within it so there's a readme added to the shared code project for you which details all about recommended folder structures which we'll go through shortly now if we just go add new item we have our standard code templates available now following the detail in the readme we'll want to create a source folder and within that potentially another layer of folders depending on the complexity of the code we're going to put in this project this is just so when your sketch code and all of the shared project code is combined in the build process there's no conflict between the file names and structures so there we go our standard template has been added and now we can just go and add some simple code to the h file and the cpp so that we can use it in our arduino sketch now shared code projects as you can't build them directly because they could be shared into any project for any platform you actually inherit the intellisense from the main project at the top the one involved which in this case is the uno project which is also the, the startup project in the solution. So we've added our get number function and we've we want to include the header. Now I've missed a step here, which is to go and ensure that there is a reference in our main Arduino project. So the, the project you wish to include your shared project within needs this reference. So it's as simple as add reference and it should be available as it's already within the solution. So now we've done that, the include will be available. So the reference is what allows Visual Micro to bind all of this together. So if we try our get number function, there we go, we can see that'll work. So we've managed to create our shared code and add it into our current UNO project. Now we said you can't build your shared code for a platform and the IntelliSense inherits. So we'll quickly go and demonstrate that. So at the moment, our main startup project is set to be an Arduino UNO. So here we see we have the IntelliSense for the Arduino Uno with only one serial available. Now if we go and change the board for our project to be a DUA for example, then we should see more serial ports available as that board has more serial ports available. So if we try again, now we change the board, ah, there we go. So the IntelliSense has automatically picked up which board we're programming for, even though this project isn't actually for a particular board. So very useful.